Here we have the Xbox Series S. So this is that less expensive, less powerful Xbox. And even though it's approaching four years old, I believe this to be a very competitive console. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why I believe you should consider picking up an Xbox Series S in 2024. So the first reason you should consider picking up an Xbox Series S is the size. This is a very small portable console that's very easy to chuck in a backpack and take wherever you want. I've gone and got my Xbox Series X for size comparison. And as you can see, look how much thinner this console is. And just holding both these consoles in my hands, I can tell that this Xbox Series X is so much heavier. I'll uh, pop the weight difference on screen, but the Xbox Series S would definitely be a much nicer console if you're someone that travels. And yes, technically a Nintendo Switch and dock is slightly smaller and lighter, but you do need to remember that the Xbox Series S is a more powerful, newer console, capable of producing better graphics than the Nintendo Switch. But obviously the Nintendo Switch does have its advantages mainly being that it has a screen and a battery which the Series S doesn't. So before we move on to our second reason if you are enjoying be sure to hit that subscribe button We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers it would really help out and support the channel if you did consider subscribing and checking out my other videos I do tech videos and we're going to try and aim for 30 likes on this video. Sorry about that shameless plug let's get on with the video. The second reason you should consider buying an Xbox Series S is the price. So in terms of providing a current gen gaming experience for the price, the Xbox Series S cannot be beaten. So I know on the Microsoft website they're still being sold for about £250, but there are a lot of places online where you can find this console for around £200. And I picked up this specific Xbox Series S on Facebook Marketplace for less than £150 with a controller. So just for a comparison, you can buy two Xbox Series S's for the price of a Series X. And in my opinion, the Series S is definitely not half the console the Series X is. This will definitely provide you with at least 90% of the gaming experience the Series X does. Another comparison is with the Nintendo Switch. Even though this Switch OLED is rocking a fancy new screen, it still has hardware from 2017. And this Switch cost me £100 more than the Series S, and this is a much more powerful console. So you get what I'm trying to say here, it's a very good value console. Obviously comparing this to a Nintendo Switch and an Xbox Series X isn't completely fair because those consoles have features features that this doesn't. This obviously doesn't have an OLED screen like the Nintendo Switch and it also doesn't have a disk drive like the Series X. But if you can look past those missing features, this is a solid console for the price. So my third reason you should pick up an Xbox Series S is backwards compatibility. So if you're someone like me that's owned an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One, and you've got loads of Xbox 360 and Xbox One games lying about, unfortunately you won't be able to play these discs on the Xbox Series S because it doesn't have a disk drive. But the Series S does support backwards compatibility using the Microsoft Store. So if there's a particular last gen title that you really want to play, let's say Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original, then most likely that game will be on the Microsoft Store and you will be able to play it on your Xbox Series S. So using the Microsoft Store, a lot of Xbox One, Xbox 360, and even original Xbox games will be playable on your Series S, which is very nice. And a lot of them are on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you won't actually need to buy these games again. So that's a very nice feature that Microsoft have implemented with the Series S. It's just unfortunate that you won't be able to put your old discs in the Series S because it doesn't have a disc drive. And if that's a deal breaker and you really want to play your old games on a new Xbox, then you might need to upgrade to the Xbox Series X because this console does have a disc drive and you are able to play Xbox 360 and Xbox One titles using this console just by putting your old disc inside the Series X. But if you'd rather have a digital version of your old titles than the Series S is perfect for playing those. So the fourth reason you should pick up an Xbox Series S is Game Pass. So as I mentioned previously, the Series S does not have a disk drive, so unfortunately you won't be able to play physical media on this console. But what that means is the Series S and Game Pass are the perfect combination. So if you don't know what Game Pass is, it's Microsoft's gaming subscription service. It's a bit like Netflix for games. You pay, I believe it's about £15 a month and you get access to a massive library of games. There's hundreds of games and they're changing all the time. It almost sounds like I'm sponsored by Game Pass, but I'm honestly not. I just think it's a very good service that I've been using with my Series S. So why is Game Pass so good for the Series S? Well, because you can't put physical media in the Series S, you're gonna have to buy all your games off the Microsoft Store and that can get quite expensive very quickly. So the fifth reason you should buy an Xbox Series S is Quick Resume. So this is actually a feature that I mentioned in my 10 reasons to buy an Xbox Series X video. If you haven't seen that video yet, it should appear in the corner if you wanna watch that as well. So I am very happy to say that Quick Resume is actually also on the Series S, even though it's got less powerful hardware, um, and it works just as well as Series X, so that's very impressive. 
So what is Quick Resume? It's basically a way of multitasking games. So let's say you're playing Call of Duty and then all of a sudden you wanna play Forza. All you have to do is quit out of Call of Duty, open up Forza. So let's say you've played Forza for a little bit and you're a bit bored of it and you wanna play Call of Duty again, then all you have to do is go back onto Call of Duty. And because this console has Quick Resume, it should resume Call of Duty where you left off. And this is a very nice feature because if you're indecisive like me and you like switching between games very frequently, it means that you won't need to wait for a loading time each time you switch game because if it's a game you've recently been on then it should be in quick resume and you can just jump back into the action exactly where you left it and I found that the Xbox leaves games in quick resume for a decent amount of time like a couple of days and this is definitely one of the features that makes this console feel current gen it's something that really annoyed me with the previous Xbox one and PlayStation 4 because both those last gen consoles had slow mechanical hard drives loading times were really really slow on those consoles and that's something that definitely makes the Series S and Series X feel very current gen because not only are the loading times much quicker because this has a solid state drive rather than a mechanical hard drive but it also has quick resume um, which make the loading times feel even quicker. So if you're someone that doesn't like loading times and you're very indecisive and you like jumping between games, then an Xbox Series S probably is for you because it's got a very fast SSD and it's got a quick resume. So the sixth reason you should consider buying an Xbox Series S is the graphics. So even though this Series S has weaker hardware specs than the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, games on this Series S still look amazing. So this was the first current gen console that I upgraded to from my Xbox One. So if you're someone that's still playing on an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, then I am happy to say that if you upgrade to a Series S, then you will notice a difference in graphics. This console will be able to run a lot of current gen titles at reasonably decent graphic settings and a lot of them at pretty decent frame rates as well. So as someone that also owns the more powerful Xbox Series X, I am still very impressed with the performance of the Series S. Even though for some games this does target a lower frame rate and lower resolution, games still do look really good. And my honest opinion is, as someone that owns a Series X and a Series S, for most games, if you hook them up to a television and sit a normal distance away from that television, you will most likely struggle to tell the difference between these two consoles. And the Series S isn't lacking in features, it still supports features such as high dynamic range. This console has the ability to play games in Dolby Vision if you've got a supported television, which will increase the quality of the lighting and contrast in games. This Series S also supports variable refresh rate if you've got a monitor or television that supports it. And there are actually a number of games that can run at higher than 60 frames per second, which is very impressive for a £200 console. So the seventh reason you should pick up an Xbox Series S is power consumption. So this is an unusual one that I've not heard a lot of reviewers talk about, but the Xbox Series S actually consumes a lot less electricity than the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So from some research online, it turns out that the Xbox Series S, whilst playing a moderately intensive game, will draw about 70 watts of power. Whereas on the other hand, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 both consume around about 200 watts of power while gaming. So that is very impressive. The Series S, while playing the same game, will draw half the amount of electricity. So why is power consumption important, you might ask? So first of all, let's imagine over the couple of years you own this console, you sink thousands of hours into various different games. Well, in terms of electricity bill, this will cost less than half the amount as if you had an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 and you sank the same amount of hours into those consoles. And another important benefit of using less electricity is that less heat is produced. And that means that the fans don't need to ramp up quite as much. So I found this Series S to be a much quieter console than my Series X. But not to say that my Series X is a loud console. They're both pretty good. Um, but this is definitely a quieter console. So if having a console that consumes less power is important to you, then consider buying the Xbox Series S. So the eighth reason to buy an Xbox Series S is exclusive games. So it might be quite funny talking about Xbox exclusive games because they're not really known for having very good exclusives. PlayStation and Nintendo tend to be known for having the better exclusives. But in recent years, Microsoft has done a pretty good job at buying new game studios that are producing Xbox exclusives. So Xbox obviously has Halo, it also has the Forza Racing series. Microsoft also have Bethesda, so the Starfield game is an Xbox exclusive. And there are a lot of other interesting Xbox exclusives, for example, Flight Simulator, and another Another game I was recently playing is called Grounded, where you're essentially a human that's been shrunk and you've got to battle 
massive insects. That's quite an interesting survival crafting game. And the nice thing about all the Xbox exclusive games is they're pretty much all on Game Pass, so you don't need to buy them separately. And so if you're interested in any of the Xbox exclusive games, then that would definitely be a reason to consider picking up a Series S. So my ninth reason why you should consider picking up an Xbox Series S is the fact that you can carry out a lot of PC functions on the Series S. So if you were unaware, you can actually hook up a mouse and keyboard to your Series S. And a lot of games actually support mouse and keyboard input, so if you want you can play a lot of games using mouse and keyboard but this console can actually go one step further so the series s and the series x support the microsoft edge browser which you can use on the console and that means you're able to use a full desktop web browser on your xbox using a mouse and keyboard and although you can't install windows programs onto your xbox a lot of programs have web-based versions of themselves for example all the microsoft office programs can be used within the Edge browser. So if you're someone that's still at school and you're trying to convince your parents to buy you an Xbox, then you can tell them as well as playing games, you can open up Microsoft PowerPoint or Microsoft Word and do your homework on your Xbox, um, which is very impressive. And if you think about it this way, for 200 pounds, you'll be able to either buy an Xbox Series S, which can game really well and can be a PC all right, or you could spend 200 pounds on a low-end desktop PC that can carry out PC functions okay, but will be terrible at gaming. So it depends where your priorities are. So if you're someone that wants a game console that can also carry out mild PC functions, then an Xbox is probably the way to go. So the 10th and final reason to pick up an Xbox Series S in 2024 is the fact that this is a great value smart TV box. So this is an interesting one that I don't think a lot of people have thought of, but for 200 pounds, you could pick up an Xbox Series S and use it as a smart TV box. So if you wanna upgrade the user experience of your television, then this would definitely be a great option to consider. So not only are you able to play games on this, but this can also act as a smart TV box because you're able to install apps such as Netflix, Amazon Prime onto the Xbox itself. And the Series S is definitely small enough that you'll be able to hide it underneath your TV. And this has the ability to output 4K HDR video and you might be thinking that the Xbox remote's not very good as a TV remote well hear me out Xbox have produced a television remote that you can get for the Xbox to use it as a smart TV here's an image of it and for comparison the Apple TV which is a box that can't play AAA games you gotta remember this is also a games console that can play AAA games is only 50 pounds cheaper so if you're looking for a smart TV box but you also might want to play some video games then this is definitely the way to go so there was my 10 reasons why you should pick up an Xbox Series S in 2024. And I'd really like to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Do you still think the Xbox Series S is a good deal in 2024? Or are you going to wait for the PlayStation 5 Pro? Um, let me know in the comments. And if you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see everyone in my next video. Pwah.